The study enrolled over 50,000 patients and followed them for five years and did serial CAT, scanner, CAT scans in high-risk patients, patients who had a uh, long history of smoking in the past. And it clearly showed a benefit in mortality, a significant improvement in mortality in the patients that were screened. So we're very excited. This is something that we, we've been waiting. Um, lung cancer is the only um, major or, or leading cause of cancer death in the U.S. that it has no current recommendation for screening by any of the medical societies. So I could not formally advise my patients or even patients that would come to my office asking to see if they had lung cancer or for me to check if they had lung cancer that having a CT uh, was the way to go or that was actually going to make a change in their mortality or, or the early diagnosis. But now or if we develop a comprehensive um, lung cancer screening uh, recommendations, then it will be easier. And I think patients uh, will be able not only to have a, a tool, but also a uh, easier uh, payment from uh, both Medicare and private payers when it comes uh, to the use of CAT scan. All the previous studies have clearly failed to show any benefit uh, when it comes to diagnosis early and save lives with lung cancer. So we're hoping that this study will bring this again up to the front line and put aside some of the previous uh, criticisms that were given to the uh, prior CT uh, lung cancer screening studies that have been done both in the U.S. and abroad. When, when you look at, uh, at uh, screening, and in, in general, especially cancer, you look at saving lives. You look at diagnosing the disease earlier. You look at uh, what kind of complications the patient will have from my screening uh, study. But if you're going to, to uh, do a CAT scan on a yearly basis, which is what the study does, you will add a significant amount of radiation to, uh, to the patient. So. Uh, all those are part of the uh, variables that are taken into account when a formal uh, screening recommendations will be um, put out. I hope it, some form of uh, screening tool comes and gets recommended. I think that is way overdue.